embracing otherness. Diversity is the difference in people. Diversity is just the differences that exist between us. In a positive way, I would say. I think that true diversity means that everybody can give their own view of, of, of reality. Diversity could be in terms of people being surrounded by people who are different from us. Our society is a mix of men and women, people with different social backgrounds, economic backgrounds, people, people with different religions, people with different sexual orientations, people with different ethnicities. It's, it's a state of being. We experience diversity because we are diverse. Every person is unique, so I'm different from everybody else. I don't think um, I am very different from people, only uh, maybe my um, color and maybe my culture. Currently in the Netherlands, it's the fact that I'm not Dutch and I'm brand new there. Right now in my situation, I'm an international person. I come from Bulgaria, I study in the Netherlands. So maybe on a, on a ethnicity level, I'm different right now. I'm lucky to have had a lot of world experience. I, I would consider myself like a world citizen. I think mostly my experience and my journey so far that has been in my life. As a student, well, in the first year I was the youngest of all. I was 16 years old when I started and everyone was around mid-twenties. Currently in my life I feel a bit different because I'm in the second year of um, of HBO and I'm 22 so a lot of people uh, in my year are 18 or 19 and I feel different. I got a very direct opinion about something but also try to see it uh, from someone else's eyes. I think I'm different with my approach to people. I always want to see the best in them. I myself am a white woman in the Netherlands, so I belong to a large part of our society and, and in that aspect don't experience a lot of diversity or questions about who I am. If I were a black woman in the Netherlands, I would experience on that particular issue already much more um, diversity. I grew up in Friesland and I speak Frisian and um, so I know how it is to be bilingual and I know how important language is if you belong to a minority of the people. I don't know, actually, I don't think it's really talked about that much in um, in my study. So I don't really have an answer to that question because it's, to be honest, never really discussed the whole matter. I'm an immigrant. I'm uh, from Somalia. I am a little bit different with the skin color because of, well, I'm from Africa and uh, I used to be very religious. Uh, Muslim, but not anymore. So those, those are things are, that are not really typical these days, or, or not typical in the northern, northern parts of the country. It's a challenge to have diversity and feel included. I think it's easier to feel included if there's less diversity, actually. Because if you see people around you who look like you, who have the same ideas as, as you have, it's easy to feel included and if you have real diversity, which is real people seeing things differently, acting differently than, than, you, are, than you do, uh, then you won't feel included automatically. Maybe you'll, you'll feel some kind of fear of being left out or of being different. Uh, no, I don't need that. No, because of it, if there's not diversity, I don't think that you can also feel included. Not every time. You, you can be included in something not based on your, your gender, your age, uh, or whatever. You, you can be a group of the same people. Maybe, as in my past, a group of my friends, we were the same background, maybe the same age, uh, the same gender. We, we are not diverse at, uh, at some, some like criteria. It's not that needed, but it helps. I think we should learn to stick together despite some differences. I do generally believe that a diverse environment makes you feel more secure 
um, and encourages to be who you are. You don't have to stick to a norm or fit into a picture in order to feel included or in order to be part of a bigger group. A group with uh, different characters that have different perspectives of life and come from different areas encourage me to also live out the sides of myself that are different to them. I do feel I need diversity to feel a bit more alive or to feel inspired and this automatically makes me feel more included because then I'm also more curious to ask more questions to figure out whether there are other people out there and also to share more about myself and my points of views and my background. No, I think I do think it's necessary because if I was there with like 20,000 other people who were like exactly the same like me, I would go crazy. Uh, so I think it is necessary to have some diversity everywhere. Different people give different perspectives on your life and if you need advice, you can hear the same advice from every same people around you, but if you have different people around you, you get different advice. I also like diversity, you know? Everyone is the same, it's so boring. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I guess I guess it makes me feel more um, in place when I know that in the group of people I work with, there is different representations of different interpretations of reality around me. It allows me to be very much my authentic self as well. You need difference in people to make the world better, to make communication with each other better. Inclusion for me is all about how are we able to bring out the best in the differences among us. What I think is really important for people is to have a good view on their own diversity. Inclusion is reached if you understand that all of us share the same basic needs in life. We then understand that and from that can talk about our diversity and our differences in life. I think inclusion is, is reached. Diversity is something that's always there because people are different. That's just how it is. But inclusion is how we uh, integrate the different groups of people, the diversity. I think that diversity is the mix and inclusion is making that mix work. Successful inclusion means that um, diversity can fully flourish. Sometimes people who are different from the others uh, make their own um, groups like communities for example the uh, lgbt community so in this case their diversity make them included in their community diversity lives from those differences that we have and then combining them in order to shape shape a world and shape our views and and perspectives they are they are very much linked for an example the, the minor the, the name of the nine was until until now it was profession dealing professionally with uh, diversity but we have changed the name now and uh, dealing professionally with uh, diversity and inclusion. And the goal is uh, inclusion, but you have to work, you have to really work hard on that. That's something we actively have to work on, that um, there is, for instance, an environment where the diversity is appreciated and seen so that you do feel included inclusion sounds a bit as if we still need to work towards some sort of a group identity whereas diversity emphasizes the embracing of otherness which for me is more powerful kind of everywhere to be honest i really like to talk i really like to discover new people and want to be included it has to come from you because if you are open if you are open-minded if you want to talk with people i think then you will be included. I, I, I always open a conversation, talk with people. Always with my family. They they always made me feel like I was included, even on times where I thought that I was being being really dramatic or different. So that's really nice. Yeah, well, I feel included in my house, in my, in my, in my family. I feel included in uh, in my job. More generally, at every instance where we, where I'm creating things together with other people, playing the bass guitar in a band, for example, and then uh, even though we are very different people in the band, 
we uh, the drummer starts the rhythm and then he uh, there's four counts and then we start and then we start creating something together and then we feel included and afterwards we uh, we have a laugh i feel included right now in my uh, team i'm working with and we we are seeing a lot of different um like change of view different points of view so i feel really included in the whole process and i also feel included at um in the whole vindersheim community Hmm, I would say places where I can just bring my whole stuff, you know, and um, have the freedom to express my voice and opinion without the fear of being judged. For me, it often has to do with passion. Like if I, if I meet groups of people who have a shared passion or a similar passion to me, even if it maybe stems from different fields, I feel very included. Oh, in uh, WHE, I feel very included. Like, um, I'm very standard, normal Dutch girl, but I learned a lot from WHE and from different kind of people. And it really brought my perspective on how people can be, of what people can be. There was one guy, and he was never wearing shoes. And for me, that was so odd because like in the Netherlands, it's just act normal and that's fine enough. Don't be weird. But it was just so like, yeah, okay, why not? If he doesn't want to wear shoes, that's fine. And that's really nice to accept all the things that isn't normal. Knowing that even though we have differences, um, that that doesn't matter in the sense that it's not a problem, but actually something that is useful and that we can all learn from each other. Without diversity, we rather have like this tunnel vision um, where we where there's a big picture that we do not see or neglect or are not aware of that it exists. And through diversity, it's like breaking apart this tunnel and 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 seeing the full picture that's there. When uh, people don't know a lot of diverse people from themselves, then they don't know how to act around uh, a person like that. Uh, for example, I used to live in a small town uh, in up in the north, and there weren't a lot of black kids or uh, immigrant children like me at school and people were always like oh yeah okay who is she and I felt very excluded because of that in the beginning but if you have a lot of people like me walking around and living there then people start to include them and it's like it becomes an everyday thing. I think differences are really important for better results. When you're all the same it's getting boring with diversity you're getting new insights and uh, you learn a lot more than when you don't have it. If all the people uh, were not different from each other, we would still think that the earth is flat or something. <laughs> the world needs uh, experts in different uh, spheres, uh, people with different uh, professions, with different understandings. Uh, look, you can learn a lot from the other people, which would never happen if uh, everyone were the same especially in a learning environment or at university, if we would constantly be confronted with one single opinion or one, one single method, I don't think we would learn a lot from that. For the most part, I think it really helps us to, to develop and to learn and to grow bigger than, than what we are. In a forest, for instance, if you just have one species or like just a couple, um, then the whole system is more vulnerable to weather conditions. You, you just need the diversity to have like a, a system that is able to bounce back. And you can also link that to, to society, I would say. That we just need the diversity that we can all benefit from. They know more about each other, so that when they have to do the project together, that they uh, yeah, that they can get well, get better results and that they uh, they know what abilities there there are in their team. I try to see if they feel they make a, f a valuable contribution. Uh, you have to make mistakes. That's the point. And then you have to see these mistakes and and learn from them. Besides creating the, the right conditions, there's no real way of of encouraging inclusion. It just happens if you're working together. What kind of differences are there in the class and where can we bridge 
where is the bridge between the difference among students and how could we focus on the similarities and create the bridge between the differences. That's where my focus is and I use different tools to bridge those gaps. I try to be receptive to to who the other person is at all times. I try to advise them on the one hand and on the other hand try to also support them. I suppose in my job it is a matter of being an active listener. I always try to make them feel at home. I try to listen to them and I take them serious. I will, I always take them serious. For me, I always tell my students that it is really important for them to be themselves. They, they, they don't have to be shy. They should be willing to, to, to put forward their thoughts, their ideas, their questions and their contributions. You know, you don't have to try to be someone else. Be original, be yourself, you know, and then be authentic. Mm-hmm.